Uh, good afternoon. I am Staff Sergeant Colin Chisholm, Colin C O L I N, Chisholm C H I S H O L M, of the Calgary Police Service Homicide Unit. I wanted to take this opportunity to provide you with some additional information about our most recent homicide and to ask the public for assistance for any information that could potentially link this homicide to two others in our city. At approximately 11.50 p.m. on Tuesday, May 14th, 2019, police were called to the 200 block of Terra Cove Road Northeast for reports of a vehicle collision and a man in medical distress suffering from a gunshot wound who later died at the scene. Following an autopsy, the victim of this week's homicide has been identified as Rashab Sani, 23 of Calgary. Investi investigators are now seeking public assistance for any information that may link the homicide on Terra Cove Road to a homicide that occurred last Sunday where Bikramjit Dinza, age 49, was found deceased inside a home in the 100 block of Hampstead Close Northwest. We are also seeking information to potentially link these homicides to a double homicide that occurred on Wednesday, April the 3rd, 2019, where 25-year-old Jasdeep Singh and 22-year-old Japni Molly were shot to death in a vehicle in the 2400 block of 37th Avenue Northeast. These three homicides are believed to be a tar targeted attacks. We are asking anyone with information that could potentially link these homicides to contact police by calling the non-emergency line at 266-1234, calling the homicide tip line at 403-428-8877, or contacting Crime Stoppers anonymously. Can we talk about uh, what you believe is linking these three? These are three uh, homicides that have occurred within the Indo-Canadian community here in Calgary. We would be remiss if we weren't looking at the possibility that they were linked. We're asking the public to come forward with information, even if it's a little bit of information, insignificant to them, maybe to them, but that little bit of information could definitely help us in our investigations. Any indication if it might be linked yet to anything that was happening in the Lower Mainland? I believe uh, Shiavetta had said earlier this week that they were also looking at that as a possibility. We're, we're always looking at, at those possibilities if they're linked to any other communities in the Indo community, Indo-Canadian community in, in Canada as well. We would be remiss to not explore those uh, possibilities. Is it believed at the heart of this that it's organized crime? Is it believed that there might be two different gangs or? Well, at this point, uh, we're not thinking necessarily it's gang related, but we are open to the possibility that organized crime is, is involved, drugs and organized crime are involved. And like I said before, we need people to come forward, people who have information, so we can help piece each homicide together and determine whether or not these homicides are linked or not. What are you hearing from the Indo-Calgarian community? Um, we spoke to some individuals today who say that they're worried that they've been seeing an increase in violence within the youth in their uh, community. Well, anytime there's an increase in uh, violence, especially this kind of violence, we're always concerned. We're concerned for public safety as a whole. Um, you know, these, these type of incidents, um, especially the first and the third ones, are out in public. You know, the possibility that somebody else may be hurt is a real possibility, and that's why we're wanting people to come forward. Like I said, any little bit of information that people have, please come forward, please provide us with that information, no matter how insignificant you may think it is. How, how have, uh, how's the public response been to these homicides so far? Have you guys been getting a good amount of tips so far? Uh, we've been getting a, a reasonable amount of tips, but we know there are people who have information that have not yet come forward, and we need people to come forward. The gentleman who was killed on Tuesday, is there any indication that he might be linked to the home invasion and homicide that happened in the Athens? Like I said, we're looking at the possibilities. We would be remiss not to try to determine whether or not there are linkages there, but at this time, we're exploring those opportunities. When we look at popular organized crime, how concerning is it to see there start to be bloodshed potentially linked back to it? 
like I said, uh, like I said before, we're looking to determine whether or not this is, these are linked, and they're linked to organized crime as well. So this and it's always concerning, like I said, from a public safety perspective. Anytime there's gun violence, um, homicides, and shootings, we're wanting people to come forward to help us make Calgary a safer community. So he was the one student over here, or he's a resident of Calgary? Pardon the me? gentleman who died last two days back. So yes. He belongs to Calgary or is a student? He is uh, a resident of Calgary. Resident of Calgary. Yes. Okay. Do you, as police officers, think the murderers are already linked or are you looking for information that could provide that link for you? That's right. We're looking for information that could link these together. Like I said, three, three homicide incidents, four homicide victims in less than a month and a half we would be completely remiss to not look at those possibilities. And you've also released a lot of pictures of vehicles. Can you explain those, that significance of the photos of the vehicles for these cases? Well, this, like any other homicide, when we have information and we put it out, we want to know whether people have seen these vehicles, when they've seen them, if they can identify them, uh, if they can link them to other individuals, and therefore help us with our investigation. Um, with respect to the victims, we cannot comment on victims and uh, what they have or haven't done. So that's a pretty standard um, pro uh, protocol for us not to talk about victims, the victims' past. Can we talk a little bit more about the Terradale scene? I don't know if we had the bail after that one actually happened. But it, no, we haven't. Uh, it was this that is, there was a black vehicle then that was also seen. We understood a neighbor had seen possibly two men run from this vehicle. Um, any closer to identifying these people or description or anything like that? Um, we've done a thorough um, a thorough uh, neighborhood inquiries and uh, also a video canvas as well. We have uh, obtained some of the uh, some information that has been helpful to our investigation and what specific parts we have right now not at, not at liberty to discuss to protect the integrity of the investigation. Do you have any idea where um, the victim was coming from or why you might have been in that area? Well, we know that he was shot, and we know that as a result of the cra uh, being shot, he crashed into the vehicle. That's what we can tell you right now. Are there any concerns just to the general public of this uh, further involving innocent bystanders? Uh, like I said before, we're always concerned when gun violence occurs because there always is the possibility, the real possibility, that innocent bystanders do get hurt and that's why we're here today to ask the public to provide us with any little bit of information that they may have like I said before they may feel that it's insignificant but uh, if if they have information about any of these incidents please please call contact us via the methods that uh, I set out earlier is there a concern from you guys about there potentially being more of these target shootings in the near future well, we're always live to the fact of there could be more shootings. We, we work with numerous units throughout the police service and we work with units who, uh, you know, if we have information, that will um, make all attempts to suppress any violence that may be planned. On the whole, is gun violence more concerning in Calgary? Is this kind of an unfortunate start to the year? Uh, it's always an unfortunate start start when you have this many uh, shooting homicides, for sure. But I mean, it's not like we haven't seen this level of violence before um, in Calgary with respect to gun violence. So since it's a uh, concern with the youngsters only, so what is the, you think, uh, link on that? Like all the youngsters, last two, that's what they are young people. And this is again, uh, he's a young guy, 18 to 25 year age, right? So uh, is there any, uh, their own stuff or it would, could be other drug or anything involved in that? Well, we're looking at those possibilities, like I said before, that it's drug or organized crime related. And 
yes, the three of the four uh, victims are younger in their years. Uh, anytime anybody is killed in a homicide, it's tragic. And uh, the younger a person is, the more tragic it is.